So the game I'm playing today is called Midtown Madness. This is another game in Microsoft's Madness series of games. The only other Madness game I've reviewed so far is Motocross Madness 2. However, Midtown Madness is not similar to Motocross Madness in any way, shape, or form other than the fact that it has the word Madness in the title. Anyway, Midtown Madness is a game I played a lot when I was much younger, just about as much as Motocross Madness 2. It's another racing game, however, it's quite different from a lot of the racing games I've played. In this game, you're racing around an open world environment rather than a closed circuit which was pretty innovative for its time. Now, I don't really want to talk too much while we're still on the title screen here, so I'm just going to say one more thing before I get into the actual gameplay here. As you can see, I am playing the trial version of this game. The reason for that is because, unfortunately, I do not own the Midtown Madness game disc anymore. And I really do not want to pirate the full version of the game either, so I just decided to settle for the trial version. The trial version does not have as many features as the full version of Midtown Madness, but it still has quite a few features that I think are definitely worth showing off. Anyway, we're going to click on single player right here. So this is the driver screen, you can basically select your profile. So this is the races screen. On the races screen you can choose from four different game modes. Crew is, which is basically the free roam mode of the game. We have Blitz Race, swing through the checkpoints and go for the finish line before time runs out, so basically get from point A to point B. And Checkpoint Race, which is kind of like Blitz Race, except you have opponents you need to race against. And there's also Circuit Race. Now, in the trial version of this game, you cannot select Circuit Race, but Circuit Race is basically racing around a closed circuit. I should mention that this game is set in Chicago, so whenever you're participating in these races, you are actually racing around the city of Chicago. And in Circuit Race, parts of the city are closed off in order to form closed circuits. Now in the trial version, there's only one Blitz Race and one Checkpoint Race available to you, Dearborn Dash and Beginner's Luck, respectively. And the full version of the game contains about 30 races in total. I think that includes all the Blitz, Checkpoint, and Circuit Races combined. But for now, we're going to go to the Cruise Game Mode. So as you can see, you also have time of day, weather, traffic density, pedestrian density, and cop density. Now in the trial version, you cannot change these options. In the full version, you can. In the full version, you can choose the time of day, sunrise, afternoon, sunset, and night. You can choose the weather as well, sunny, overcast, rain, or snow. Traffic density determines how much traffic there is on the roads. Pedestrian density determines how many pedestrians there will be on the sidewalk. And cop density determines how many police cars will be parked around the city. So yeah, cruise mode is pretty customizable. After that, we can go and select our vehicle. Now, in the trial version of this game, there's only three vehicles. In the full version, there's ten. But the vehicles you can choose in the trial version are City Bus, Ford Mustang GT, and the Panos Roadster. You can also select the color of the car. It also tells you how much horsepower, top speed, durability, and mass the car has. You can select between an automatic and manual transmission, and if you click on Vehicle Showcase, it'll basically show you what that vehicle looks like in real life, except for the city bus, I think. Also, if you change the color of the city bus, it'll have different advertisements on the side. The blue city bus has an advertisement for Monster Truck Madness 2, the orange one has an advertisement for Motocross Madness, and the red bus has an advertisement for Angel Studios, the company who developed this game. And the white bus has an advertisement for MSN Gaming Zone, which is long gone now. You can also customize how realistic the physics are. As you can see, there's a physics realism option right there. However, I find that the realism of the physics in the game stay the same no matter what you have the physics realism set to. Anyway, now that I've explained all of that, let's get into some actual gameplay now, shall we? So here we are in Chicago. I decided to choose the blue Panos Roadster. I just completely annihilated that car right there. Just knocked over the traffic lights, crashing into everyone. Just another normal day in the streets of Chicago. So in cruise mode, you're free to do whatever you want. Like T-boning a bus, for instance. And almost knocking it over. Now when you crash into objects or other cars, your car will take damage. As you can see, my wheel is all wobbly now. Another thing is that in the trial version of this game, there are walls blocking off the rest of the city. You cannot go past these walls, but other cars can for some reason. And I have no idea if it's possible to disable the walls somehow in the trial version. Well, there goes my wheels. It might be possible to remove the walls in the trial version, but that would probably require editing the game's files or something. Anyway, I'm just driving on the sidewalk right here, knocking down some mailboxes, terrorizing pedestrians, 
The pedestrians in this game are kind of funny though. If you try driving towards them, they'll start running away from you. And right before you hit them, they'll actually dive out of the way. Or they'll run towards a wall if they're close to one. You also have a rear view mirror which shows what's behind you. You also have a map of Chicago. The gray parts of the map are areas I cannot explore in the trial version. Wow, that streetlight just crashed directly on top of the roof of that guy's car. It's weird how their cars don't take damage, but mine does. Also, there's various sound effects in the game, like crashing sounds mostly. And occasionally the other drivers will yell at you for being an absolute buffoon on the road. I'll let you guys listen to some of the sound effects right now. Oh, look at that U-turn. But yeah, here's some sound effects you can expect to hear while playing the game. So there's some sound effects, mostly crashing sounds, car horns honking, and people yelling at you to get off the road. Anyway, we're gonna jump over this bridge. Oh! Okay, I don't know how I landed that. Also, it is possible to fall underneath the bridge into the water below. Like right here, for instance. Sleep with the fishes. There we go, my car is completely submerged. And then it respawns you back where you started. This taxi is about to get T-boned hard right here. Uh, oh! Get wrecked! I like how it shows the damage on your car as well. Like it shows the back of your car all smashed up, the windshield partially shattered, the wheels becoming loose and wobbling like crazy. This game may have been released all the way back in 1999, but let me tell you, it's still very fun to play even to this day, at least in my opinion. Alright, oncoming traffic. Oh! Beautiful destruction. There's also different camera angles you can view. If you press the D key, you can look inside the car, which is pretty cool. You can also change the camera angle by pressing the C and B keys. And unfortunately, my trial time is up. Yeah, in the trial version, it doesn't let you stay in cruise mode for that long. But once your trial time is up, you can just go back into cruise mode. And you can play it again for a few minutes. But here's the inside the Ford Mustang GT. Oh my goodness gracious, huge collision. What the heck even happened there? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, now the, now the police are chasing me. Gotta, gotta get the heck out. Alright, it is now high speed chase time. So yep, the police are after me now. Well, there's only there's only one cop car after me, but uh, gotta take a gotta take a right. Okay, no, he didn't he didn't get confused by that. You don't really need to worry about the police all that much in cruise mode because if your car becomes damaged to the point where you can't drive it anymore, your car will reset automatically so you can continue driving. So you don't have to worry about the police in cruise mode, but in the other racing modes, you have to worry about them because. If you damage your car to the point where you can't drive it anymore, it's a game over. Okay, I am driving sideways. Okay, how did that pedestrian not get killed by that? I have no clue. There's just garbage flying everywhere. Look at that, banana peels, and uh, I don't even know what that is. Is that like, that like some sort of alcoholic beverage or something? Also, the police act very strange in this game. Look at that! He's just ramming people out of the way. He's like driving in circles. Now thankfully, the police cars in this game take damage as well, so... If they take too much damage, they won't be able to, uh, drive anymore. They'll just kinda stay there. So if I- if I drive over here again, my wheels are wobbling. Yep, so I crash- I crash right into this guy, I basically crush him underneath my car. And there we go, he lost one of his wheels and now he can no longer drive, so... He's- he's done. He's done. Alright, let's go to the mall and do some shopping. Crash right through the windows. Yeah, okay, we're inside a building now, we can just kinda drive around right here. Got some stores. Okay, we got we got a lot of the same stores right here. We can destroy the benches. We can uh, destroy the ferns as well. But other than that, we can't really do that much in here. We can't go to the upper floor. But uh, we can just kind of drive around here. Kind of weird how there's nobody in here. Maybe it's closed, I don't know. Alright, break through the glass again. The police car is still there, not doing anything. Get out of here. Now we're going to drive around in the good old city bus right here. So the bus is pretty slow, but that's to be expected because it's a bus, for goodness sakes. There's the interior. There you go. Now one thing I like about the city bus is that you can just ram other cars out of your way. Like right here, for instance. Watch this. Watch. Oh, get out of here. I just drove over one of the cars. My goodness. And it barely slows you down, although it did kind of slow me down there. That guy's also running. Yeah, you can just ram cars out of the way. They are, like, no match for you. Look at this. Well, even though this bus is pretty slow, we're still gonna try to do this. Jump over the bridge! Oh god, we're going slow! Oh, yes, we made it! Oh my goodness gracious, we made it. 
I don't know how we made it. Oh, oh god, we're going too slow. Oh, oh, we're hanging on the edge of life and death. Uh, oh, we still made it. Alright. And now it's time to drown everyone on this bus. And just as I suspected, the bus is too large to fit through the gap right here. Oh, never mind. Flee with the fishes, everyone. Okay. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about cruise mode, so it's basically like a free roam mode in Midtown Madness. Now on to the Blitz races. So, Blitz race, you have to get from point A to point B. You have to drive through all the checkpoints, and you have a time limit. The Dearborn Dash race gives you 35 seconds to complete the race. I think the other Blitz races have different time limits, but this one gives you 35. You just have to get through four checkpoints. You need to go over the bridge. Oh, look at the jump! Oh, we landed it. And there you go, we made it. That's all there is to it. Just have to get from point A to point B, and you're done. And since that's the only Blitz race available in the trial version of Midtown Madness, that's all I really have to say about the Blitz races. So now on to the checkpoint races. Checkpoint races is kind of the same thing as the Blitz races, except you're racing against opponents now, and the opponents are pretty slow. So I decide to just uh, give them some time to catch up with me. So you can see them in my rear view mirror, they're all coming for me, and suddenly the guy in the white car completely wrecks himself. So yeah, you just gotta race through all the checkpoints and get to the finish. This guy is pushing me along right here, okay. I spun him out right there. Got some, got some spectators right here, the pedestrians. Pedestrians are watching this race unfold. Just gonna pass this guy, just move him out of the way. So I gotta get through all these checkpoints. Uh-oh, the police are after me again. I better hurry here. Come on. I'm almost at the finish. Just gotta, gotta race to the finish. Come on. Gotta turn. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I almost completely annihilated myself. Oh god, there's two of them now. Uh, just reverse. Reverse! There we go. Yeah, and they, they still arrested me anyway. Oh, look at the pro racing skills. Driving forwards in reverse. Okay, that's that's not exactly pro racing skills right there. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it worked for a little while. I was able to maintain first place, but, uh, yeah, it's not working that well anymore. I should just start going forward here. My car is about to explode. And that's all I really have to say about the checkpoint races. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys the circuit races because I can't play any of these circuit races in the trial version. So there you go, guys. That's all I really have to say about, uh, Midtown Madness. It's basically an open-world racing game set in Chicago, and it is very fun. And honestly, I'm disappointed that I do not own the game disc for Midtown Madness anymore. Because if I still had it, I would have been able to show you guys a whole lot more features than what I was able to show you in this video, so... But hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video anyway. Midtown Madness is one of my most favorite games of all time, just like Motocross Madness 2. I really didn't want to make a video of the trial version of the game, but I don't have the Midtown Madness game disc anymore, so... I had to settle for the trial version. Sorry, guys. But again, hopefully you still enjoyed this video, even though there were some features I couldn't show you guys just because I was playing what is essentially the demo version of the game. But anyway, thank you for watching my post-commentary review video of Midtown Madness, and I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later!